Hi everybody, welcome back to Dog Paw Blog. I'm going to continue this series for the dog supplies and this is just going to be part two. This is going to have everything to do with outdoor gear. So leashes, collars, harnesses, accessories, dog walking bags, and then how I store everything. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. Okay, so these are just the cabinets that we have down here in the pet room. Um, so I'm just going to show you the cabinet that we store the leashes in. Okay, so in this first shelf, we have um, just extra harnesses, but these are specifically the front leading harnesses that are reflective. So if your dog pulls, it kind of works like a horse is um, steered. It just keeps them from pulling because it pulls them back into the side. Then we actually just have extra harnesses here. There's just normal. On the second shelf are the couplers here in this basket and extra leashes. Now this cabinet is divided into two halves, so I'm going to show you into the next one. Okay, so in this one here, I usually have extra collars, but <laughs> I had to wash them, so I used all the extra ones that they have on now. But usually I'll keep some extra collars in there. I have some of the seatbelt attachments. Um, there are three currently in my car for the boys, and then Coco has one as well. So these are more just like extra. And then on the... On the bottom one, the last one, is kind of correction and training. So there's just a bark collar that we do not use. I can actually just throw it away. We don't, we don't use it. And then um, the Martingale collars. So we have those. So that's what's in the cabinets. Alright, so now I'm going to show you um, the remainder of the storage down here. The top one has their clothing, and then the bottom one is where I keep the actual leashes and collars and harnesses that I'm using and this is where I go when I'm going to get ready to walk them and I put everything back so I can find it later. So it's right by the door. So in this first one here, it's going to be Cupcake's clothing, so his jackets and stuff for the winter, and then Yogi's jackets, and then Bam Bam's jackets. Okay, and now in the second one, and if I didn't state before, these are just Sterilite drawer units. So down here is where I keep all of the leashes, collars, and harnesses. The first one is Cupcake here. It has his name and a picture. And in every one, I have a retractable leash, a standard leash, a harness, and a collar. So that's what you're just going to see repeated. So this is Cupcake's retractable leash, poopy bag, of course, his standard leash with a carabiner, poopy bag, his harness and then his collar is being is being washed. This is Yogi's. So there's the retractable harness and then the standard leash. And the last one is Bam Bam. Same thing, his retractable standard leash and harness collar is being washed. Right. Okay, so now we are um, upstairs in the laundry room right off of the garage door. And this is where we store Coco's leashes and everything. So this leash holder was purchased at PetSmart. And it's just the silhouette of a Shih Tzu. And it only has um, three, three hooks there. But I keep her leash and harness and her dog walking bag hanging here. And then this one here was um, purchased at a pet expo. And if I can find the young lady who hand makes these, her information, I'll put that down below. But it's just a handmade item. And it has two hooks. And on that we keep a flashlight and an umbrella. But this is just right off of the, the main entryway into the garage. And this is like where we keep our coats and stuff. So she just has her stuff right there. The next thing I'm going to show will be um, the coupler. So when I'm walking more than one dog at a time, I use the attachments for the leash to connect them. So this is the first one I bought. Uh, this is very old. I think I had this on my first two dogs. That has been years and years and years, but that's how well it's held up. So you clip the main leash here, and then you clip this to the two dogs' harnesses. Pretty simple very effective. I'll insert a video of Coco and Cupcake being walked with this one. 
The next one I'm going to show is one I've gotten more recently. And it is by ExtremePetProducts.com. You can see that. ExtremePetProducts.com. And it has this really nice, I think it's called a traffic stop handle. And the actual leash itself is the entire coupler. So, pretty long. And it comes in different colors. And it's these really strong bungee cord. So there's a little bit of give in them. Um, but they're very strong. And they attach to dogs. So I think they do have on the website a way to connect a third one up here. And they have them for different weight classes. So this is I think under 25 or something. And they have um, different ones, different styles, different lengths different weights and everything. another option for a coupler is this large hook here when I bought this this was actually inside of a pet store but they sell these in um, baby supply like Target and Babies R Us for the stroller hooks and they also sell them for carrying grocery bags together so you can kind of pick this up anywhere and all it is you just take every single leash you have and put it right on there and then hold this part this is the one I don't use because it the, there's no way to prevent the leashes from tangling. But if you have like no other option, they sell these kind of anywhere, and they're pretty inexpensive. That's you know another option. It's just a very so another um, outdoor product that I use that I really really recommend. I really like. I've actually reviewed I believe twice now, and it is the TSA Fast Pass. Uh, leash and collar. Now they do make a harness and I do recommend that for air for air travel and going through the airport because it is a little bit harder for your pet to get out of a harness and a collar. So how this works it has absolutely no metal in it at all and you put it on your pet um, if you're flying in cabin and when you go through the TSA um, scanner they usually will tell you to remove the metal that's on your pet, but if you tell them, no, this is the, you know, it's, there's no metal, it's specifically for TSA, you go right through, you maintain control over your pet, and then when they do your hand swab, you know, at that point, you definitely don't have any control over your pet if, you're, if they're not on a leash, so you definitely want something like this. I have this on her when I go through and they swab my hands, I just stand on the leash so she can't, you know, go anywhere. So I really recommend picking that up. Another cool option um, that I've really been using and liking for a, a while are the tag changers. So I have fairly long nails and when I have to take off a rabies tag or anything like that, I always end up breaking my nails. So this product is pretty cool and I have a couple different ones I'll show you. This is the Click It version and it just clips right onto the collar. That D-ring that's on the collar it clips right to that. This one I really like. Um, this is from a seller on eBay, so I will link her shop down below. And she has a lot of different colors. Um, this is a thinner one, I would say, for like you know, smaller dog. It works very much like a collar would, and just it goes around the collar itself instead of the D-ring. This is from Rescue Me, if I'm not mistaken. It's a little bit thicker, but works the same way. It goes around the collar, and it's for a larger dog, a larger collar. So I'll show you the difference between the two there so see they're different in size the next option for um, outdoor gear that still relates to the tags would be updatable tags so if you've ever moved or changed you know your phone number you have to print out a whole new tag so we all have these these metal tags and you have to change all the information on them if you move well, there are options for tag companies that will link your tag number to the website and you can go on anytime and change your information. What's great is the owner is that anytime you update or change your information, you can do it right away on the website. So the first company is getmehome.com and I will link that as well. And it's, it's sponsored by Heart Garden Frontline and you know, you can put up pictures and everything. The second company that offers something similar is Rumi. <laughs> Rumi. And it works the same way. You have a code for your pet 
and you can log in and change all the details. So it also works if you maybe your pet passed away and you have all the tags still, you can use them for your next pet and just change all the information. One thing I am never caught without is a carabiner on the handle of the leash. These work amazingly well. If you ever need to be hands-free for a reason, um, to clip your pet to something temporarily, uh, we were eating outdoors when we were on vacation with her and this came in very handy to clip her to tables and chairs. Um, when I sign in at the vet, I can clip this to the little hook they have at the desk and if you're running indoors somewhere and you can't bring them, this takes two seconds to just clip this around a pole and secure your pet while you run inside. You know, it's just much easier than trying to take the thing off and loop it through the leash itself. So always, always, always put a carabiner on your leash handle. Also something that stays on my leash handle, and I recommend every dog owner have extra, extra poopy bags, but I like them in the dispensers. They just, they tear off much easier. Every leash I have has a poop bag dispenser. You can get these on eBay at like 10 for a dollar. Please do not go on, go into PetSmart and pay $8.99 for one of these little containers. That's ridiculous. And I just have these on every single leash, so I'm never without poop bags. They're right there. I never forget. I remember went to San Diego, and we were walking down the street, and this owner in front of us with her dog, she had no poop bags, and of course that's when her dog goes to the bathroom. And she was so embarrassed, and she had nothing. So we went back where she was and gave her a couple of bags. But yeah, don't ever be without poop bags. And then just keep them just right there. I mean, how handy is that? In line with um, dog walking and dog leashes and outdoor gear, I have a couple of bags that I use where I keep their stuff in it for walks. Um, this is just stuff that I have found when I was out with them that I needed and it was helpful so I just started to store it in something that was easy to transport, easy to carry while I had them. So the first one I have, I have done a video on already and it is the multi sack. You can get this from Sears. And you, they used to sell them at like Ross. I don't know if they have them there anymore. But you can just do a quick internet search. And that's how you spell it. If I can find the link for it, of course, I'll link it down below for you. I'm not going to go in depth into this bag because I have done a video on it already. And really nothing's changed. But it's just a great material. It's really easy to wipe clean. A lot of external pockets for quick stuff you need to grab. And just an overall great bag. Lots of storage. So... If you're interested in seeing a more detailed review of this bag, click the link below for the video. So that's the first bag. The second bag I have is a lot larger. And it's usually if I'm going hiking with like two or two or three of the dogs. Where they're going to be off leash and I need more stuff. Because we're going to be there for hours and hours and I have extra water to carry and snacks and stuff. So this one is the Mountain Smith bag. It's a messenger bag, actually. And I've also done a video on this one. If you're interested in seeing a detailed overview and review of this bag. It's a great quality bag. Again, easy uh, material to clean. Always have the poop bag dispensers. And as you can see, it's just a much larger, larger bag. But I typically take this if, like, we're going to be out of the house for a long time. The last one I have, um, I haven't used as much. It's newer, and it's the smallest one I have, so it has less storage. And this would be a quick walk, if we're doing, like, a 30-minute walk, wherever, in the neighborhood or around town and coming right back. It's this one here. It's <laughs> it has, I love my dog on it. Yeah, it's just a, you know, little bag, clean material, lots of storage. But I haven't done a review on this one, so I'm, I may review this one. So like a little backpack. So there's that. So those are my dog walking bags. I have three. The last thing that I'm going to show is going to be more winter gear. I know it's like almost July, but I'm going to show you their winter coats because we do use them outdoors and they, they're really good coats. So the first one is Fido Fleece. This is actually cupcakes because it's the smallest one. <laughs> it's covered in his fur. So I got these on Amazon. They have a direct site you can purchase from. And I think the cheapest pricing is actually on that pet place. So I'll try to link that as well. 
if you can find these defective on eBay, I know that sounds horrible, but usually it's just a minor manufacturing flaw, like something, like, it, I don't know. On the one that I have for Bam Bam, it doesn't have this top Velcro here. It just has this one side, but not this side. You can easily go to any craft store and attach the other side of the Velcro. So we're usually on Amazon, these can sell upwards of $30. The one I got that was defective was $8. So that's just one other option um, to look for ones on eBay or Amazon that have like a manufacturer defect. So you don't have to pay full price for them. But these are really great. I have boy dogs and I don't know about you, but I have a hard time finding jackets that go up high enough on the stomach so they don't pee on the, the front of it like this. These are cut very high and I don't have any issues with them having little accidents on the front. The other thing is these are extremely hard for them to get out of because the Velcro is on the top and it runs the entire length of the jacket. So they just, they're really well made, they're really warm, but when it's really cold, they have to wear two jackets. So I'm going to show you the, the next one. And this is like the best jacket ever. And I didn't know a lot about the company when I first bought this, um, so I didn't get exactly what I was looking for, but that I'm pleased with this one but next winter I'm probably going to get the parka so this is the the windbreaker so it's a little bit lighter um, so it's just got this fleece on the inside and this weather resistant material here for the windbreaker but the parka has got like like fleece or polyester lining so it's even warmer so I just double them up this one goes underneath and then this one goes on top and I've done a video review on these as well so I'll link that below So I will say goodbye to you as uh, Coco looks on because she's so bored. Thank you for joining me on this second series of the dog supplies. I really enjoy making these because I like seeing what other people use for their pets and what they like and what they recommend. So hopefully you guys are enjoying them as well. If there's anything that you love that you, you know, you discovered that really works well for you and your pet, please leave it down below in the comment section. I try to reply to everyone. Thank you for watching and look forward to the next series.